Hello fellow space explorers and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be looking at the International Space Station, or ISS. The ISS is a technological wonder, and pinnacle of human engineering and ingenuity. Assembled in orbit over the course of more than a decade, this research laboratory has continuously housed astronauts since the year 2000, and stands as one of humanity's greatest achievements. We'll begin with the origins and history behind the space station program, then explore the complex assembly process and architecture of the completed structure. Let's start at the beginning and see what events led to the ISS as we know it now. Concepts for crewed space stations existed since the earliest days of spaceflight. The first space station was Russia's Salyut 1 launched in 1971, followed by other successful stations in their Salyut program through the 1970s. The United States operated its first space station, Skylab, for several months in 1973 and 1974. As the Cold War thawed, the US and USSR agreed to develop a jointly built space station called Freedom. However, due to funding issues, Freedom never moved past the design stage. After the fall of the Soviet Union, the US invited international partners to join in creating a new, orbital outpost. Led by the space agencies of the US, Russia, Canada, Japan, and participating members of the European Space Agency, the International Space Station program was officially initiated in 1993. Following finalization of the agreements in 1998, the first module of ISS was launched into orbit. This was the Russian Zarya module, providing orientation control, communications, electrical power, and propulsion. Weeks later, the US module Unity was attached to Zarya by the crew of the Space Shuttle Endeavour. Assembly then proceeded over the next decade, requiring over 40 individual flights by the Space Shuttles as well as Russian Proton and Soyuz rockets to deliver the necessary modules, trusses, and major components. The ISS structure consists of pressurized habitation modules, external trusses, giant solar arrays, radiators, and many other complex systems. The pressurized volume totals over 32,000 cubic feet, equal to a Boeing 747 jumbo jet. The mass exceeds 400 metric tons, and the solar arrays are spread over an acre, generating 84 kilowatts of power. Now let's walk through some of the major parts that make up this massive, orbiting laboratory. At its core is the Unity module, the first US component, which connects the Russian Zarya module. The Svezda service module contains the central command center and living quarters for Russian cosmonauts. The Destiny Lab module is the primary research facility aboard the US segment. Node 2, Harmony, and Node 3, Tranquility, provide additional docking ports for cargo vehicles and capsule docking. The Harmony node connects the European module Columbus and the Japanese laboratory module Kibo. Attached externally are the main truss segments and solar arrays spanning 240 feet tip to tip. Radiators the length of a semi-truck help reject heat generated by electronics. The Canadarm2 is a large robotic arm, essential for inspection, maintenance, and movement of components outside the station. The Quest airlock provides spacewalk access for astronauts to perform critical repairs and upgrades. There are also logistics modules, additional research modules, and observatory cupolas. Now that we understand the physical makeup and architecture, what capabilities and facilities does the ISS provide? At its core, this is an orbiting laboratory focused on conducting cutting-edge research across various disciplines. There are a multitude of payloads and experiment facilities housed aboard the ISS. The Destiny Lab module has multiple internal racks to hold experiment equipment with connections for data and power. Research in the Columbus and Kibo labs focus on fluid physics, material science, biology, biotechnology, and physical sciences. Cameras and sensors allow Earth and space observation research. The BEAM module has served as a testing ground for expandable habitat technology. External platforms and testbeds expose new materials to the space environment. The ISS has incubators, a glove box, and the cold atom lab to slow atoms down to near absolute zero for quantum physics research. The microgravity environment itself is the biggest research facility aboard the ISS. Weightlessness alters many fundamental physical and biological processes, 
in ways that illuminate phenomena difficult or impossible to study on Earth. Research disciplines that benefit profoundly from microgravity include fluid physics, combustion, materials science, biotechnology and space medicine. The ISS also has exercise equipment, medical facilities, and a hygiene compartment. Because crews experience alterations in their physiology due to microgravity and radiation exposure, the station allows studies of how the human body is impacted by long-duration spaceflight. This will prove critical for future missions to Mars as we determine safe mission durations and evaluate appropriate countermeasures. So what's life actually like aboard the ISS for crews? Crews of six to seven people live aboard the ISS continuously, with trips lasting about six months. Russia and the US each have their own living quarters in different modules. Daily life working in space takes adaptation and places unique demands on astronauts. Crews work very full days, often 10 to 12 hours or more. Shift handovers allow work to continue 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Teams operate experiments, perform maintenance, make repairs, monitor systems, and talk to ground control. It takes two and a half hours per day just to exercise with resistive and aerobic training to prevent bone and muscle loss. Hygiene, like bathing, requires special care and time in microgravity. Even everyday tasks become complex without gravity. You must strap yourself down to sleep. And eating involves capturing floating food and managing crumbs. Going to the bathroom uses suction instead of gravity. Supply vehicles bring care packages, fresh food, and surprises from family. With busy schedules, astronauts still find time to gaze out the windows and enjoy Earth's beauty. Now let's turn to the incredible science conducted aboard this unique, world-class orbiting laboratory. With over 3,000 investigations completed and 2,500 ongoing, the research from ISS runs an enormous gamut. Microgravity enables experiments across biology, physics, astronomy, medicine and more that are impossible on Earth. Fluid physics research studies capillary flows and multi-phase systems. Experiments examine flame formation and combustion without buoyancy forces. Material science exploits weightlessness to assemble superior optical crystals, semiconductors, and nanomaterials. From stellar births to antimatter, ISS expands our cosmic perspective. ISS facilities have incubated protein crystals to enable detailed molecular modeling with implications for rational drug design. Lab experiments address cell regeneration, immune function, microbes adaption, and the mechanism of wound healing in space. Astronaut health is studied to develop treatments for bone density loss, muscle atrophy, balance disorders and radiation effects. Earth observation from the ISS provides a unique vantage for monitoring our changing planet. Data tracks deforestation, droughts, volcanic eruptions and the breakup of Antarctic ice shelves. Detailed hyperspectral imaging assays coastal waters to assess fisheries, pollution, and human impacts. Developing advanced technologies for use aboard ISS provides terrestrial benefits. Fuel cells tested on station advance renewable energy storage for cars and buildings. Robotic assistance developed for astronauts lead to improved surgical robots and prosthetics. The long-term microgravity exposure and continuous habitation aboard the ISS provide the perfect environment to prepare for our next giant leap, the human exploration of Mars. The ISS serves as a unique technology testbed and stepping stone for deep space missions. Many key systems and technologies needed for interplanetary travel are evaluated aboard the ISS. Spacesuits designed for Mars walks are already being demonstrated during ISS excursions. In these and many other ways, ISS operations directly contribute to preparations for eventual interplanetary spaceflight. This state-of-the-art laboratory enables breakthrough science across multiple disciplines and expands the boundaries of human knowledge for the benefit of all. As humanity prepares for missions back to the Moon and on to Mars, we have much to accomplish. The ISS will continue guiding our progress on this journey for years to come. Thanks for watching.